guys welcome back to another vlog so it is monday yesterday all i did was work you guys saw my day saturday for the most part so <clears throat> yeah we just chilled here at home sunday i did some bible study for my channel for my bible study group and just my daily reading and write the word we didn't go to church but i had a lot of reading to catch up on on my own for my channel not to say that the church can't teach me anything but i just needed the time to study for my channel and discuss things over with brian about it and so yeah but right now um it is currently 6 19 just dropped brian off at work got myself ready i haven't texted him that i made it home i need to do that and yeah, so I'm about to fix my bed, fix my hair, and then sit down and start prepping things for me to film today. So let's go ahead and start getting all of that done. So if you ever wonder why whenever you watch my videos, I have the same makeup and hair for multiple videos, it's because every time I film, I gotta set all of that up. So that is why and one of these is higher than the other. Let me fix it. So yeah, so now I'm about to fix my hair. And then I forgot that I need to edit today's video. So fix my hair, do my reading and writing, and then edit today's video is the game plan before I gotta take Ethan to school. So I'm going to flip you guys around, fix my hair super fast, and then, you know, sit down. I need to log into the computer so I can warm up. I haven't updated you guys since earlier. I got really busy. Is it on me? Is it filming? <laughs> I got really busy earlier with editing and then filming. I think I filmed a total of five videos because Brian and I ended up filming a video together. Wait, no, four videos. Because Brian and I ended up filming a video together. And so I got a lot of editing to do tomorrow so I can get tomorrow's video up and yeah, that's pretty much my day. I'll insert a picture right here of how the look ended up coming out. It was so pretty. Wasn't exactly like Raquel's, but I was still really proud of it. It was really pretty. Um, I ordered CC's for dinner because my head's just been killing me all day because when I get busy working, I get busy not eating. So I really got to control that and set like a reminder on my phone or something that reminds me to eat because I've had the worst headache all freaking day. But I ordered CeCe's for dinner. It was delicious. I love CeCe's pizza. What's your favorite pizza, babe? Probably Papa John's. Papa John's, I thought you'd say that. Pa I think it's important. Yeah, it's just low battery. Ooh, they saw that chest is. Flex, boo. No, what is this? Flex, boo. No. Fine. But now, Brian and I are eating some ice cream. He has his right there. I got mine right here. If you ain't never tried this ice cream, try it. It is so good. Mm. We had this at one of the cup, or we went to our couple's uh, fellowship night and they had this ice cream there and I tasted it for the first time ever. And I was like, dang, cause you know, you see the color and you're like, mm, don't know, not really a fan of green ice cream, but this, bomb.com and y'all know i don't recommend wax stuff 
Whatever. No, I don't. I do not like mint chocolate. I don't even like mint chocolate candy or the little mints that you get at Olive Garden, the chocolates. I do not like nothing mint chocolate flavored. I don't, those two flavors to me don't go. Them flavors do not belong together. I could have sworn I've seen mm -mm. stuff before. Nope. Uh, Betsy makes these brownies with a little bit of peppermint oil in there, like a smidge, and that's good. But I won't eat like no mint chocolate chip or like the Girl Scouts mint, thin, thin mints, whatever they're called. Nope. But yeah, you guys, my phone's dying. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I got a little bit more film today than I have been in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your night. Good night. See y'all in the morning. Good morning guys, as you've seen, got my morning workout in, just, I don't know, been feeling real out of like, sorry, uh, music was super loud and then I forgot I had to get Ethan up because it's already 7, past 7.30, 7.33, so, got my morning workout in, didn't get a chance to do my reading write the word, but I have all morning to do that because today's video is just a Jesus chat, so. It's not going to take long to edit, just going to make the insert screens and edit out parts where I'm getting onto the boys to be quiet. Mostly is what that is. Boy, it's the only thing I don't like about natural deodorants. They do not keep you from sweat and clean up because I didn't clean last night. And I don't know how it slipped my mind like that. Like I made Ethan's lunch and came to bed because I showered before the pizza got here. So I think that just kind of threw off my whole night routine, but there wasn't very many dishes. So just like some cups and then Brian's Tupperware from lunch yesterday. So, so it wasn't too much, but the floors were disgusting because I didn't get a chance to sleep. Oh. All right, y'all, so I forgot where my phone cut off. I didn't realize that I had ran out of date at a store, so I had to go in there and delete some stuff, but Watch it, go give me some donuts. we'll see how you do on Friday. Gotta be good all week. But I was saying like, I just been feeling like real out of shape and like that comment that that girl left me has just kind of been like getting to me because like even though I work out like, you ever work out and you'll know like if you see yourself on camera, like if you constantly like film yourself, but like you work out, 
you feel like you're doing all the right things and you see yourself on camera and you're just like you work out like like and this is you telling me yourself like or maybe even people think this like you work out like it's not showing and like i can see the differences in my body when i'm naked but obviously like i'm not gonna go on youtube and show my body naked so, like i could tell that like my abs are coming in and that my lower i call it my mama pooch because it is that lower belly fat from having kids but um my mama pooch is getting smaller and things like that but like it doesn't look like that when i'm in clothes because clothes just kind of seeps into like all of my crevices and like it's not cute taking ethan to school right now y'all so yeah I'm, i really want to start eating better um i didn't i ate like crap yesterday like crap i didn't eat till three like i ate at like 11 and i ate like a third of a bag of hot fries and a beef like a like a beef jerky stick more like a slim jim stick but it was the jack slinks brand oh it's foggy y'all But um, I prayed for rain literally right after I took Ethan to school. I mean, Brian to work. And then left the house to bring Ethan to school. And it's super foggy. But y'all, Ethan did such a good job this morning getting himself ready. I woke him up. And I told him, I said, it's time to get dressed for school, baby. He said, oh. I said, no, we're going to have a good day. Because yesterday was a little rough. It was a little rough for everybody. And I think it's because it was Monday. But, um did such a good job getting himself ready today i walked out of my bathroom after i was done fixing my hair and uh he was standing at the computer already dressed and then i brushed his teeth and then loaded up so yeah um it's really foggy i don't know if you guys can tell like outside of the windows and stuff but yeah yesterday was just a little bit rough didn't eat till 3 p.m. like a real meal and at that I ate Burger King I love and you, Burger King always I love you baby and then I always kind of like Burger King just always kind of upsets my stomach but it's cheap and it's fast and I got it ubered to Ethan school <laughs> because I was in the carpool line and I didn't want to end up at the back because right after I get Ethan we have to go get Brian so well, I am quiet yet Key. Yeah, because you were being a little bit fussy, huh? Yeah, like key. Yeah, you were fussy yesterday after school. Yeah. So I made him lay down in the back while we waited for Brian and we made him take a nap. <sighs> Those pills are still working and I really need to eat because I'm starting to feel nauseous. So, yeah. Just thought I'd sit here and chat with you guys, talk to y'all about some stuff. I don't know i feel like we don't like i don't vlog a lot and that's like a part of the reason why is because like i'm always ripping and running and then like ethan has to go to school i gotta take brian to work and then i'm editing all day and like i don't know giving ethan his mask for school Yeah, that's basically my morning you guys i still gotta go home and do my reading and writing i worked out first but yeah i'm gonna go home and do that and then i'm gonna start editing today's video is just a jesus chat so it's not gonna take that long i just gotta insert the screens with scripture or make the screens with scripture 
and then insert them where need be then edit me out getting onto the boys to be quiet but yeah so i'll see you guys later like i said i don't know if we're going to the gym or not but i have bible study tonight so oh excuse me i have bible study tonight so i gotta find something fast and easy to make oh i got indigestion like a mofo i know phone don't say that that means mommy shouldn't be saying that Anyways, I got such bad flipping indigestion. Anytime I drink or eat anything, I get really bad indigestion or acid reflux. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if we're going to the gym, but I'm going to find something fast to make for dinner. My sister makes this Dorito casserole. And I dropped the boys off over there one time for a date night. Or, yeah, a date night or something like that. And so, she had it over there and I took a couple bites of it. And I was like, oh, so good. So, I'm going to ask her for the recipe for Dorito casserole. But yeah, I'm dropping off Ethan now, you guys. And like I said, I'll see you guys later. Um, maybe for the gym. I don't know. But yeah, see ya. Hey, guys. So, this is weird. I'm recording on the front camera. I haven't done that in forever. So, we just left Costco. So, I finished laundry right at 1 o'clock. And I mean, my, our, mine and Brian's clothes, the boys' clothes, the towels, the tablecloth, all... Boy! I won't tell you again, Bryson. Anyways, I finished everything at 1 o'clock. And so, after 1, I left the house at about 1.20, went to Costco, just left, got out of there at 2.40... I'm now headed to Market Street. Ethan gets out at 310. I'm just going to walk up to the door. I mean, all the other parents do it. I don't do it all the time, so they better show me some grace this time. But, anyways, I'm just going to walk up to the door. I plan on getting there at 310, 315. He won't even notice that it's late. Like, so anyways, going to um, Market Street just to pick up a couple of things that Costco didn't have. And, I mean, I'm really... I really didn't even have to get much from Costco. Somebody just asked me for something, so I went to get it, and I ended up getting so much. So I guess I'll be filming a Costco haul today. I hadn't planned on it, and we were out of water. We had our last case of water in the house, so I bought three cases of water this time, and then I will buy two more next week because we will go through another one this week. But yeah, I'm headed to Market Street right now just to pick up a few odds and ends for dinner. Because I took out two packs of ground beef. I think I'm going to make what's called a Dorito casserole. Um, get in the recipe from my sister. Don't know where she got it from. If she sends me the recipe. If she sends me the recipe, I will link it down below. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to the gym today though. Because Brian said that he don't know. He might not even be off of work till 4, 4.30. And I have Bible study tonight. So... We have to be out of there by 7. So I have to figure out something for dinner, y'all. Or I may not even be able to go to the gym. Might just work out at home and let him go. Anyways, about to challenge myself. About to try to get in and out of Market Street in 15 minutes. So let's see if I can do it, y'all. Y'all know how I be in Market Street. So let's go ahead and get in here and get out all right y'all i did it i got in and out within 10 minutes and now i can head to get Ethan. oh my goodness <sighs> I can't stand people who drive like freaking idiots that the grocery store would be busy at this time of day like why isn't anybody at home or at work well, I mean I'm out but still I'm allowed to be out anyway <laughs> um made it in and out within 10 minutes so it's now three o'clock exactly three o'clock so I'm headed to get Ethan I should be able to get pull up right as his bell rings so Y'all, it's so humid today and so hot, and I don't know if it's rushing, but y'all, I can't do the mask today. Like, I'm trying, but, and I usually wear it over my mouth and my nose, 
but y'all today like it's rough like I can't do it I don't know what it is yes this light turned green I should be able to catch every other green light from here to Eakin school I almost forgot to show y'all what I was cooking so the ground beef all I did was add um garlic powder onion powder and a pack of taco seasoning and we're just gonna cook that till it browns so while that browns i'm just gonna go ahead and slice up this velveta cheese Alright you guys, so now we're back over here. Okay, so now that the meat is cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add a can of cream of chicken and I don't, I think it's only for one pack of ground beef. So I don't know, I might add two, I might add a cream of mushroom. All right, you guys, so since I made two pounds of ground beef, I'm gonna go ahead and add also in a can of cream of mushroom. Mushroom. Alright you guys, so on the side, I'm just making these stuffed jalapenos. So all they are are basically just jalapenos with cream cheese wrapped in bacon. So I'm going to make these on the side. Brian's not the biggest fan of these. I am, but we've had these for going on almost a week. So I'm going to go ahead and make these today. Turn the heat off on the stove and we're going to start assembling our casserole. So like the most unhealthy dinner in the world after I was just talking about eating healthy. So we're going to dang this whole bag rip. Cover the entire bottom of the pan with chips. Make sure it's all covered. So now that it's covered, we're going to take our meat mixture. Okay, so now that we have that layered, we're just gonna go in and do the same exact layer. Now we just put it in the oven until everything melts. I have my oven on 425 because that's what I have to cook the poppers on. But you just put it in there until everything melts. Yeah. All right, you guys. So this is the finished re result. I just tasted it. It's so good. I burnt some of the chips. <laughs> Don't do what I did. 350 is fine. Just let the cheese melt. But I burnt the chips because I had our oven like on the air fryer type setting. Burnt all the chips around the edges. But... It's good nonetheless, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to end it here because after I eat, I'm heading to Bible study. I'm going to come home, shower, go to bed. So see you guys later. Alright y'all, time to get the day started. <sighs> About to start working. Um, I worked out this morning. Y'all really need to follow me on Instagram if you really want to see like what I actually do throughout the day because that's where 
I do post a lot of my daily stuff. I didn't vlog all morning, but I was pretty active on Instagram. Anyways, I showed on there that, um, let me go in the trash. I showed on there that I worked out this morning, did a 30 minute upper body workout. So it was really just chest and back. But if you're making you sweat, cause she'd be like, okay, get down on the floor. Okay, get up, get down on the floor, get up. Like, dang girl, pick one, down or up. <laughs> but, um, you gotta love Sydney Cummings cause she really be getting, you get, be getting, a, helping you get a really good workout in, in such a short amount of time. And she does warm up and cool down rather than just warming up. And then after that, got all the boys up, got them all dressed. I made Brian a smoothie because he kind of hinted that he had been craving one, but we don't really have funds right now to be spending on smoothies. So, especially if we have all the ingredients at home, if we have all the ingredients at home, there's no reason to be going out, spending money on smoothies. So I made him one took it to him he also needed his wallet which is the whole reason i had to go back to his job so got way too much lotion which is the whole reason i had to go back to his job anyways after dropping him off and um yeah so i made him a smoothie took it to can't took ethan to school took him his smoothie and his wallet and then yeah i hung out with the boys because i made it a point today because i had today's video up which is thursday the 22nd i believe yeah, so it's Thursday the 22nd. I have my video up for today. I have my video scheduled for tomorrow. So I was like, since I don't have to edit, I'm going to spend some time with the boys. So I hung out with them in the living room. I read them about three books, watched part of like parts of a movie with them. And then at 10 o'clock, I got up to cook me breakfast, get our lunch ready for the day because we just eat in the car. I just pack us the lunch. And whenever we're waiting on an order, I take the time to eat. And then they eat grilled cheese chips and applesauce and a juice uh, um today i'm eating leftovers and i forgot a snack but that's okay um if i really need a snack i can stop and get one but i don't think i will and then i grab pack me a kombucha and an extra water because the water i have right now is already almost gone so yeah we're about to get started working i just wanted to update you guys really quick and say hello for this thursday you guys know that I don't really vlog on Wednesdays and it was a good thing because yesterday, well, yesterday was so busy for Uber Eats and I'm praying today is just as busy so you guys send up a prayer for me keep praying for me that this is just blessed and that God protects me as I'm driving and just yeah so I'll see you guys later um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if we're gonna go to the gym or not I'm not gonna say we are and I'm not gonna say we're not if we go to the gym, I'll show you guys. If not, then you won't see it. Making raviolis, and I don't know if I want to make them in Alfredo sauce or pasta sauce or red or marinara, like red sauce. I might do red sauce because I feel like Alfredo sauces are kind of already made out of cheese. So I'll probably do red pasta sauce, garlic bread, and throw together a quick salad. I do need to go to the grocery store today, so. If Brian works late, instead of dropping the car off, me and all the boys will go to the grocery store, pick up some bell peppers for the salad, some croutons, and then Brian needs more yogurt. Why do I feel like there was something else I needed from the store? There's probably nothing else, but Brian needs more yogurt. So yeah, let's go ahead and get our day started, you guys. I'll see you guys after work. Ooh, hey guys, so I'm done working. I've been done for a little while. I was just sitting here chilling on my phone because I haven't really been on my phone today. Like, I've been randomly like responding while I was waiting in line, like waiting for food or something. So, yesterday I made about like $23 an hour. I did it for three hours. And then today I made $21 an hour. I did it for three hours. So. Yeah, I'm here waiting on Ethan. I'm about to catch up on my Bible study notes for my group. I mean, I'm not behind. I just got to uh, read some scripture. And then I also need to read, because I'm trying to read the Bible in a year. So I'm doing a plan on the Bible app. I'll link it down below if it's possible. If not, I'll pop it up on the screen right here, which one I'm doing. Never too late to join in. Join in, you guys. Also, I always post my read and write the word on Instagram on, and Snapchat, so 
you want to do that obviously i put up my hair because it got a little bit crazy i'm trying out a new curl product so i love the way it looked when i was inside the house but then that wind got a hold of my head yeah and yeah it was not the bee's knees so yeah y'all we are parked obviously outside of ethan's school so we're gonna be here for about an hour so i don't make him sit down in his car seat for an hour but yeah, I'm about to catch up on my Bible study. And then, like I said, we're probably going to go ahead and go to the grocery store, depending on when Brian gets out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I need to find out what time my husband's getting out. Say hi. You're so cute. Oh, you're a dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny to clean this camera. Every vlog, I'm cleaning my phone. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. He don't feel, y'all. He don't feel. All right, y'all. New hairdo again. Look a little bit nappy, but guess where we are? Boom. I feel like I come here every single vlog. I'm so terrible, but yeah. I've come, oh my Lanza, I've came to Market Street twice this vlog. Who am I? Anyways, gotta get yogurt, bell peppers, cucumbers, and croutons. And a dressing for me because I don't like Hidden Valley Ranch. I just don't. So yeah, about to go in here and get what I need for a salad. Somebody's watching me vlog and it's awkward. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is freezing outside today. I think it's currently like 44 degrees outside or something like that. But King was up at 5 o'clock this morning. 5 o'clock. Speaking of, I need to go get him a blanket. Bryson got in trouble. So anyways, King is asleep on my bed now. He then just got dropped off at school. He was late. I was messaging this girl because she had a question about what I said on one of my posts. Um, so yeah, King's asleep on my bed, so I'm taking him a blanket because I don't want to mess up my bed to cover him. But um, so yesterday after I went to Market Street, I went to Target. I was trying to find Ethan a. Uh... Y'all look at this. Like, where did that come from? What the heck? Where'd it go? Oh, it fell right there. Anyways, I seen today was, um, like he could have wore a football team shirt or jersey. So I was trying to find him one, but I'm not paying no $30 for a dang cowboy shirt. He likes the cowboys, by the way, because that's the team Brian likes. So. I was like, oh, well, buy him one whenever Brian gets paid because he brings in the big bucks. So, um, anyways, I'm about to, so I was talking about Target because I bought these. I bought these shoe racks. So I'm about to go in the closet and try to fix mine and Brian's shoes. So, yeah, but I'm going to put these where you can see them. So, I'm gonna switch my shoe rack to one of these wire ones. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch my shoe rack to one of the wire ones. And then put mine, like, ducked off in the corner where you can't see it. Because I eventually just wanna switch it to where it's only wire ones in my closet. So that way it's more aesthetically pleasing. So anyways, I think I could fit about four or five in my closet. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna try to take a light in there with me so that way you guys can see because our light in our closet is terrible. I want to switch it out, but I'm short. Brian's tall. He's always at work, so by the time it gets off, I forget. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start organizing all these shoes. And you guys are going to go insane when you see Brian's shoes. Like, why? Why does he have so many shoes? You only got one set of feet. I feel like I have too many shoes because I wear the same pair, two pairs of shoes every day with the exception of my one pair of gym shoes I wear all the time. But it's nice to have options, I guess. But still, let's get in the closet.
Okay, note to self. Read the fine print because I thought it came like this, but it only comes with one rack, like just one of these. So I'm gonna get in this closet and see what I can figure out. For sure, I'm just gonna leave them like three flat. And now I'm gonna have to leave my rack where it is right now, but I need to fix my rack because it's all falling apart. Anyways, let's just get in there and see what I can figure out, y'all. All right, y'all, so this is Brian's shoes. That's, that's not even all of them, y'all. That ain't even all of them. He has even some up there. So those I'm not gonna worry about. And I'm think, I'm, I might put all his Jordans up there is where all his Jordans might go. Like, y'all, please tell me why okay y'all so this is all Brian's clothes right and I got the small section that's ridiculous so anyways let's get down here let's start organizing some shoes y'all so this is now our closet i always hang my bras right here <laughs> but um this is our closet now so now brian's shoes aren't stacked on top of each other but he still takes up an entire wall plus all of those i moved his timberlands in here so that way now there he has no reason for any shoes to be anywhere other than the closet <laughs> Oh, 
and then put the laundry baskets in there. Now I can walk in here without tripping over them. And all of my shoes, and I face the, excuse me, face the laundry baskets like this, because if he needs to get shoes back there, he can still reach them, and if I need my Timberlands or my wedges for whatever reason, I can still reach them. So now I gotta get the boys breakfast. Get the boys breakfast, throw the trash away, fix their bed. Just, I got a whole lot to do, y'all, so I'm gonna get that done.